Hey, this is Ricky Kennedy Cichlids. In this video, we're looking at how to have a successful overcrowded aquarium. Now, a lot of people want to have an overcrowded aquarium because they believe that there'll be less cichlid, African cichlid fish deaths because the aggression is spread out amongst all the fish. Plus, you get to look at a lot of colorful fish all in one aquarium without just a few taking up a huge aquarium and you can only see like five or six. So the biggest limitation you can have on how to have a successful overcrowded aquarium is don't let people set your limitations. There's people on Facebook, there's people on YouTube, there's people on the forums who are saying you can't do this, you can't do that. Why don't you try some things and see what works? And I'll tell you in this video what's worked for me. Now what works for you may be different, maybe exactly the same thing, but at least you get some ideas and know that it's possible. You can even have females in an overcrowded peacock aquarium. As you see here, there's lots of females in this aquarium. This aquarium is only a 58 gallon aquarium. Lots of people put limitations on your, what you can do with your 55 gallon, 58 gallon, 60, 65. They say you can't have peacocks in there. I've had fish stores tell me, no, don't do it. You don't need to have them in there. They won't make it. Well, that's why people have gone to the overcrowded method because that allows you to have lots of fish, lots of colorful fish, and one aquarium. And you can also have breeding going on. There's fish in here, females in here that are holding. You get to see your colorful fish. And you can have, if you just happen to have one aquarium, you can do lots with that, just that one aquarium. People like to set limitations on you uh, because they want to make themselves seem special because they got the biggest aquarium. You can do what I'm doing here with a small aquarium so the one thing that's very important to remember is overcrowded is definitely that. It's overcrowded. You have what you seem to have, a lot of fish in there that just looks pretty crowded to me. Overcrowded, yeah. So if you have too few of a fish, too few of peacocks or African cichlids, specifically the uh, peacock uh, fish is that there could be one male that becomes dominant in the aquarium and there's not enough aggression to keep him docile and then that a dominant male basically starts killing off the other males and this aquarium there's plenty of aggression but there's not one that just overpowers any fish it allows your fish to live, you know, pretty good. It may be some torn fins, but that's because of the fighting. But they look pretty decent. And I can say there's breeding going on. You get to have a lot of fish in one aquarium. Uh, it's enjoyable. You can have, raise a back up in one aquarium and have them all live there harmoniously with no problems. Now, what are my, some of my keys to success? Well, I have, like I said, lots of aquarium, lots of fish in here. Uh, I do water changes, big water changes, like 50% or more each week. And then I have mat filtration with lots of oxygen coming through. And if you're not a believer in the bubble, that's fine. But uh, here it's using air power and bubbles to power the filter. It's doing really good. 
And I also only feed the fish once per day. And I can also occasionally, every three or four days, skip a feeding. And that allows the waste not to build up, and all the fish to be happy. Uh, and so things work out. Now, if you're wanting to keep this long term, then you need to work out what kind of filtration you're going to have. But the water changes is something everybody can do. Now, the filtration I have is not too expensive, but you can have all types of different filtration and it still work. I've used uh, canister filters, hang on the back, sump filters. It doesn't have to be what I have. I'm just showing you what I'm using in this particular uh, fish aquarium. So, remember, you gotta have overcrowded, it means a lot of fish. You can have females, you can have breeding going on, and have no fish deaths for over six months in this aquarium. And this aquarium has like 60 fish in it. And it's only a 58 gallon aquarium, and that's over the limitation of how many fish to have per square inch of your aquarium. You always hear that when you only can have so many fish per square inch in your aquarium. Well, maybe that's so in certain cases, but in the overcrowded peacock aquarium, I would definitely suggest putting a lot of fish in there and enjoying all the colors, all the movement, all the activity that goes on and they can be all the fish that you have that you've raised and not lose any of them yes there may be a little bit of torn fins maybe a little bit here but look at here you got some fish in here that are looking great looking great now all these fish have been here the same amount of time look at this guy right here look how good he looks i mean you got some nice fish now this one's hit its eye on the ornaments and that happens in any aquarium but you got some really nice looking fish here and you can have all your best guys in one aquarium and occasionally there may be a torn fin but at least you're not losing a fish and you get to have all your fish in one aquarium now as far as ornaments go this aquarium has case but you can have it with no ornaments ornaments substrate no substrate i kind of recommend having some substrate and for african cichlid sand is the best but you can have different types and you have gravel whatever and it'll still work uh, lighting it doesn't really matter as, as too much but uh you know i have the light on this aquarium on this aquarium going 24 hours a day no ill effects you see any bad fish here no no nope, they're doing good lights on 24 hours a day so the rule about having a light on so many hours a day doesn't necessarily apply to this aquarium so don't let people set your limitations do it however you want to it can be done it can be done with females these are females they can be breeding you got let me see here there's one right here it's holding here right there that one's holding a little bit of eggs there let me see if i can get another one in here uh there might be some hiding but they're breeding this aquarium doing good they have caves which allows them to go into a cave if they feel threatened but it also works just fine without any decorations at all and they'll still do great so the key takeaway from this is have plenty of fish you can have females do your water changes don't overfeed once per day maybe even skip once a week every once in a while skip a day and you know hey don't let people set your limitations on how to do things in the fish hobby or in your life let yourself rule what you do learn from your own mistakes learn from your successes pick up some ideas from other people 
and go with it. And like I always say, have fun and live and prosper. Until next time, it's been Ricky Kennedy Secrets. Woo!